we have to talk about Wander Franco. As okay? much as I don't want to, we're going to do it. Right. And that's fair because this is not an easy thing to deal with or talk about at all. And that is largely because nobody really knows what's going on. Here's what we do know. The Tampa Bay Rays have placed Wander Franco on the restricted list. The official statement is that this was mutually agreed upon between Franco and the Tampa Bay Rays. Again, that's the official statement. Major League Baseball is investigating allegations of misconduct. This all started when a social media post began circulating, accusing Wander Franco of having an inappropriate relationship. Now, it's important to note that as of right now, nothing has been proven, nothing is certain, and despite this book, this incredible social media fallout, we really don't know much. Okay, we only have a he said, she said, hearsay situation. So let's keep it at that. On our show, we're going to keep it at that. We will bring you more information as the situation develops. A couple things to note about Wander Franco. Tampa Bay signed him to a $182 million 11-year contract in November 2021. And a lot of tortillas past, for those of you keeping track. This what? It's a lot of tortillas for those of you keeping track. It's a lot of tortillas. And I believe it's the longest contract in Tampa Bay Rays history. Has to be. Yeah. Yeah. Franco, it's hard to be though. Three years. Yeah. <laughs> Franco, though, has been accused by his manager of not being the best teammate at times. So they're and having being some, immature. Yes. There have been some clubhouse disturbances with him at the center. And we're going to figure that out. So stay tuned. We will let you know. Uh, if you choose not to get caught in the social media storm that is happening, that'd be okay. We'll, we got your back with just the, the facts. 